Hi everyone. Um, I'm just here today to show you a shaker pocket. Um, by the time you see this, it would be a while because I plan on doing another one uh, for a swap I'm doing. It's a December daily swap and we're exchanging pages. Uh, so uh, each person gave the size uh, of the album they're doing, if they're doing specific type colors and things like that. And um, I had this idea of doing this. Uh, for myself, but I wanted to uh, video it and try it before doing it for my swap partner. So what I've done was I've taken a um, a sheet protector, and I actually had these old old sheet protectors. As you can see, it was on a clearance, and uh, they're ten by tens. Uh, these are very old, and way back then, I think I didn't even, I paid even less than the clearance price because it was, everything was, you know, certain amount off, even clearance items. And these sheet protectors are, are not good for much um, nowadays, but they actually are open on either side, and they're closed on the top and bottom. They were made more for those um, uh, strap hinge type uh, albums. And these were made to just slide right over the, um, over the page. So I had gotten these not knowing what I was going to do exactly with them. But uh, they, they've come in handy. So what I did was I actually... Um, took a sheet of paper and um, this is the size of the sheet protectors for the album that I'm doing and it just so happens that the other person um, is doing the same size album so that was easy for me to to figure out so because these sheet protectors don't have holes I had to um, actually draw the line here to punch holes in it later so we make sure that we had that part. So I just took my uh, trusty little fuels, fuse tool. And of course, you know, this is the first time I've used it. Uh, I've had it for a year <laughs> and just now using it. Uh, so of course I do something that's not going to be simple, like just all straight lines. Nope, I have to go dive into something that's complicated. Um, so anyway, uh, I did a straight line just using the ruler. Um, that way I can match this up with the sheet protectors that go in my album. And I'm doing a 6 by 8 album, the Simple Stories album. And then I can just punch in the holes to match. Um, so what I did was I drew it out here. And, um, and then took a Sharpie and drew it out larger on here. Um. And you can see by this what I'm talking about. Let's see. There we go. So I drew it larger. And then that way I cut just before the lines. And then that way the lines don't show up on my uh, sheet protector. So then... Um, Actually, let me back up. I didn't cut it out first. I used the fuse tool to go around it just before the lines, then cut it around that edge. Um, and then um, I actually sealed up one end, had the other end open so I didn't uh, go all the way up. And then I filled it with um, some iridescent glitter. And then I also used a little bit of the uh, Distressed uh, Stickles uh, glitter. It's very, very fine, but very shiny. And then all I did was I had these little teeny um, um, sequins. These little sequin stars. And then these small little sequins. I don't know. Let me open this so you can see it. 
So these are teeny tiny. They're teeny tiny sequins. And they don't um, don't have holes in the center or anything. They're just so, so small. I actually got these at the Target uh, dollar spot. So um, I just added a little bit of green and a little bit of uh, red. And, um, of course, the, the gold stars. And uh, then I just filled it up. And I sealed it with the, the fuse tool. But then what I did was I took to, to help cover up some of that and to make it look like snow, I just took some flocking and I added some more of the distress uh, glitter, the stickles uh, distress glitter, and um, just made up a little concoction here. And you can see, hopefully, you can see the shininess in with the flocking. Because when I did that, um, I tried it on a few little samples before I actually did this. Just took some pieces. And uh, when I did just the flocking, the flocking kind of disappeared. You couldn't really see it very well. So then when I added the uh, distressed stickles, you can see it looks more like snow on a tree. And all I did was take um, just some Scotch quick dry adhesive and put it in the fine line bottle. And then I just put it on here, you know, and just put a little bit, you know, and, and go across it and then kind of make it look like it's hanging down. So I'm only going to do that much so that way I don't bore you. And then I just put some of that on. And then I just uh, let it uh, dry overnight and punched my holes. Uh, or will punch my holes, should I say. And I'll let it dry overnight, punch my holes. And then it's good to go into, uh, into my album. I uh, hope you all give it a try. And maybe you can come up with some different, um, you know, different uh, shapes or things to do. And uh, give it a try and let me know uh, how yours comes out. If you have any questions, just post it below and I'll try to answer them as I can. Thanks. Goodbye.